how to find out the true discount and banker's discount as well as face value of the bill. What is the formula for true discount whenever the present value is given? That is P into T into R. Simple. If the discount rate is 5% per annum, on what date was the bill drawn? So we have to find the drawing date of the bill. So first write down what they have given. Time is given, rate of interest is 0.07. When you divide 7 by 100, you will get it as 0.07. Hello everyone, welcome to the session. I'm Shruti, lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysore. So in our previous session, we have discussed the concepts of bill discounting and solved few problems related to bill discounting. In this session, we'll continue the same, that is the problems on bill discounting. In today's session, we'll be working out the problems which carries three marks for your examination. So the very first problem is the difference between BD and TD on a bill due after six months at 4% interest per annum is rupees 20. Find TD, BD and face value of the bill. What is the difference of BD and TD? That is your banker's gain. What is banker's gain? It is the difference between your banker's discount as well as true discount. So therefore, given banker's gain is 20 rupees. Next, the time is given here, that is six months. So when you convert it into year, it is six by 12, which we can write it as one by two years. And rate of interest is given, that is R, R is equal to 4%. What I'm supposed to calculate here, I have to calculate the true discount, banker's discount and face value of the bill. So how to find out the true discount and banker's discount as well as face value of the bill. So here, time and rate of interest is given along with your banker's gain. We know the formula for banker's gain in terms of true discount that is TD into T into R. So let us write what is given. Banker's gain is 20. I don't know true discount. It is 1 by 2 and it is 1 by 25. So here the 4% is calculated as 4 by 100 which is 1 by 25 in terms of fraction. So now this is 20 is equal to TD into 1 by 50. So cross multiply TD is equal to 20 into 50. So therefore true discount is equal to 1000 rupees. Now you got what is true discount. Let us calculate banker's discount and face value of the bill. Again, we know the formula banker's gain is difference of banker's discount and true discount. I need banker's discount. Then it is the sum of banker's gain and true discount. Banker's gain was rupees 20. So 20 plus 1000 banker's discount will be 1020 rupees. So this is your banker's discount. Next, we will calculate the face value of the bill. Face value is given by banker's discount into true discount divided by banker's gain. So that is banker's discount is 1020, true discount is 1000, banker's gain is 20. When you calculate this, so 0, 0 get cancels, 2 1s are 250. When you multiply this, you will get the value as 51,000. rupees. So your face value of the bill is 51,000 rupees. Next question, find banker's discount, true discount, true present value and banker's gain on a bill of rupees 900 due 5 months hence at 16% per annum. First write what is given. So given face value is 900. Next time is given that is 5 months, so it is 5 by 12. Next, rate of interest is given, that is R is equal to 16%. You can write it as 16 by 100. 
What I'm supposed to calculate? I have to calculate banker's discount, true discount, present value, as well as banker's gain. Now, how to calculate all these when the face value T and R is given? I know the formula to calculate banker's discount. That is BD is equal to FTR. So now my face value is 900. Time is 5 by 12. Rate of interest is 16 by 100. So when you multiply and solve, your banker's discount will be 60 rupees. Next is I have to calculate true discount. So second one, true discount. So before going to true discount, I'll calculate P. So that is present value. We have a formula for present value whenever face value and time and rate of interest is given. That is F divided by 1 plus TR. So applying this, we will get 900 divided by 1 plus 5 by 12 into 16 by 100. So that is P is equal to. So when you solve this, you will get it as 843.75 rupees. Next, why P first? Because I have a formula for true discount whenever the present value is known. So therefore, I'll find the present value first. Next, I'll calculate the true discount. Now, third one true discount. What is the formula for true discount whenever the present value is given? That is P into T into R. Simple. So present value you got is 843.75. Time is 5 by 12 and R is 16 by 100. Again calculating this you will get your true discount value as 56.25 rupees. The last one is we will find out the banker's gain. So banker's gain formula is difference of banker's discount minus true discount. So your banker's discount is 60, true discount value is 56.25 rupees. So therefore your banker's gain will be 3.75 rupees. So by knowing the face value, time and rate of interest, we can calculate banker's discount. Again, with the same three terms, we can find the present value. And using the present value, we can find the true discount formula. By knowing the value of true discount as well as banker's discount, we can find the banker's gain. Next question. A bill for Rs. 2920 drawn at 6 months was discounted on 10,497 for Rs. 2,916. If the discount rate is 5% per annum, on what date was the bill drawn? So we have to find the drawing date of the bill. So first write down what they have given. So first face value is given that is 2,920 rupees. Next discounted value is given. So that is I'll write it as DV that is 2,916 rupees. Next rate of interest is given that is 5 percent. You can take it as 5 by 100 or 1 by 20. Okay, so now I have to calculate the time as well as the drawing rate. First let me calculate time for how many days or for how many years. So we know the formula discount value is equal to F into 1 minus TR. Discount value is 2916. Face value is 2920 into 1 minus T 1 by 20. So this 2000. 16, 2920. When you cross multiply this, this is 20 minus T divided by 20. So next when you divide it, this is 146. Next you can write 2196 divided by 146, which is equal to 20 minus T. So we will get this as 19.97 is equal to 20 minus T. So here only you can divide this. 2196 divided by 2920. This is equal to 1 minus 
1 by 20 is nothing but 0 0.05. So it is 0 0.05 T. Now on dividing this, you will get the value as 0 0.99 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.05 T. So shift 0 0.09 on your right hand side and 0 0.05 to your left hand side. 0 0.05 t is equal to 1 minus 0 0.99. So 0 0.05 t is equal to 0 0.01 and t is equal to 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.05. So when you divide or multiply with 365 days, this is 73 days. So here we are calculating in terms of days. So therefore, this is in terms of years now. So if you want days, you have to calculate with 365. So now my time period is 73 days. So therefore, the number of days is 73 days along with 10 for 97. So let us find what is legally due date now. So therefore, my time period will be 73 days. Next, I have to calculate my legally due date so that I can calculate drawing date. My LDD will be 73 days after the given date. So that is 10 for 97 plus 73 days. So that is equal to uh, 21st 797. So 73 days means you are in April, you can add 73 days later from 10th April, you will get the date as 21st July. Now next I have to calculate drawing date. So we know the formula that is legally due date is bill period plus drawing date plus 3 days in grace. So if I want drawing date, I have to subtract bill period along with three days to get a drawing date. So now my bill date that is legally due date is 21-7. So my bill period was for six months. So therefore, so here I have to subtract six months. Next again, we have grace period of three that is subtract three days now here, zero, zero. Calculate now. 21 minus 3, 18, 7 minus 6 is 0, 1, and here it is 97. So therefore, my drawing date is 18, 1, 97. This is how we calculate the drawing date. So first, we are supposed to calculate the time period. Then adding time period to the given date, we will get the legally date. Then from that, we can derive the drawing date of the bill. So next question, a bill of rupees 3500 due for six months was drawn on 27th March 2012 and was discounted at the rate of 7% on 18th April 2012. Find the banker's discount and the discounted value of the bill. So we need to find out banker's discount and discounted value. So first write what is given. So given the face value that is F is equal to 3500 rupees. Next, bill period. So, this is 27th March to 18th April. So, bill period is that is 6 months. Next, drawing date is given. That is 27 March 2012. Next is Rate of interest is given, that is R is equal to 7%. We have to calculate the banker's discount and discounted value. So let us first see what is legally due date. So given the date is 27-3-2012. And bill period is for 6 months, so 0, 6, 0 plus 3 days in grace. So we will get it as 39, 2012. So this is my legally due date. So therefore, time will be number of days from April 
Why April 18? Because it is given, it was discounted at the rate of 7% on 18th April. So we have to calculate the remaining days, that is from 18th April to 30th June. So therefore, T is equal to, that is time, number of days from 18th April. Because it is given, it was discounted on 18th April. So 18th April to September 30th. So that is, therefore, T is equal to April, May, June, July, August, September. So 18th April means remaining days is 12. May is 31, June is 30, July is 31, August is 31 and September is 30. So adding all this, you will get the time period as, so that is 165 days. Next we have to convert this into years. So therefore T is equal to 165 divided by 365 in terms of years. So that is equal to 33 by 73 in terms of years. Next, we have to calculate the discounted value. So therefore, the first one, discounted value is given by F into 1 minus TR. So the face value is given, that is 3,500. So rupees 3,500. So 1 minus 33 by 73 into rate of interest is given as 0.07%. 7 percent can be written as 7 by 100 and when you divide it, you will get it as 0.07 in terms of decimals. So when you multiply this 3500 into, so this is equal to 1 minus 0.0316 in terms of decimals. So this is 3500 into 0.9684. When you multiply, your discounted value will be 3389.40 rupees. So this is your discounted value. Next, I have to calculate the banker's discount. So that is BD. So banker's discount is nothing but your face value minus discounted value. So your face value is 3500, discounted value is 3389.40 which is equal to 110.60 rupees. So in the question the face value was given and bill period was given. We have to calculate the legally due date and drawing date was also given. So from this we will get the total number of days as 18th April to September 30th. So 9 is September. We have to calculate the number of days. So for April, leaving 18th April, we have still 12 more days. May 31, June, July, August, September. Add all the days, you will get 165. We'll convert it into years so that it will become 33 by 73 years. Time is given, rate of interest is 0.07. When you divide 7 by 100, you will get it as 0.07. So multiply and subtract, you will get the value of 0.9684. And again, multiplying with 3500, you will get your discounted value. And banker's discount is your difference between face value and discounted value. So that is equal to 110.60 rupees. So today's question, are important for three marks in your examination. We'll take few more problems on this bill discounting in our next session. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.